Imagine a winter paradise in the middle of the desert where technology and nature are harmoniously integrated to produce a one-of-a-kind experience. An enormous project to construct an ultra-luxury ski resort in the desert has been taken on by a nation in the Middle East. It would feature the most bizarre architectural features, such as a folded vertical village, a massive man-made lake on top of the mountains, and a hotel beneath the lake. Intrigued? Stay tuned as we show you the luxury snow destination that Saudi Arabia is building in the desert. But before we get started, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's dive in. Saudi Arabia's Trojina is a snow-capped tourist destination that is located 50 kilometers from the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba. It is part of the kingdom's $500 billion Neom mega project. Trojina is situated in a region where winter temperatures dip below zero. In comparison to other parts of Saudi Arabia, the region's average annual temperature is around 10 degrees cooler. The destination is set to be transformed into a snowy resort in the heart of the desert. Since outdoor skiing has never been witnessed in the area, Trojina will offer a one-of-a-kind experience, especially in Gulf nations that are known for their desert temperature. By the time Trojina is finished in 2026, it is expected to attract 700,000 tourists and 7,000 permanent residents that will live in the development by 2030. Trojina Resort is one of the 10 areas that is being developed as part of Saudi Arabia's Neom region and will be linked to the Line Mega City, which is being constructed as another major part of Neom's development. The resort is already under construction with the main work on the ski village starting at the end of 2022. In 2022, Neom also signed with Emis Moore, the fastest growing lifestyle hospitality company in the world. The partnership will mean that two of Ennis Moore's iconic brands, 25 Hour Hotels and Morgan's Originals will be among the first to be unveiled. It was also officially announced by the Neon Project on October 4th of 2022 that the ninth Asian Winter Games will be held in Trojina in 2029. Saudi Arabia will need to demonstrate exceptional infrastructure and vast potential to plan and stage this significant sporting event. With this initiative, Saudi Arabia wants to present itself as one of the world's top sports nations. Saudi Arabia will be the first country in the Middle East to host the Asian Winter Games, and the project began as part of Neom's plan and strategy to help support and grow the tourism industry in the area. Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi Crown Prince, has stated that Trojina will revolutionize mountain tourism by developing a location based on ecotourism principles, highlighting initiatives to preserve nature and improve the quality of life in the community, all of which are in line with the objectives of the Kingdom's Vision 2030. The prince said that all construction work would follow Neom's strict environmental guidelines, which include a dedication to minimizing interference with the local ecology and ensuring long-term sustainability. Trojina is anticipated to make a significant contribution to the region's tourism industry as it demonstrates how Saudi Arabia is developing destination based on its diverse geography and ecosystem. This development will give the country a new source of income to help it diversify its economy, while it keeps protecting its natural resources for future generations. As a result, Trojina will significantly stimulate Saudi Arabia's economy. Each of the six distinct development areas that Trojina will house will be orientated around unique unique experiences that combine real and virtual advances in engineering and architecture, all in an effort to build a place that is unmatched on Earth. The districts are Gateway, Discover, Valley, Explore, Relax, and Fun. Some of the key highlights at Trojina are a ski village, the vault, the lake, the wildlife reserve, the observatory, the bow, and the super opulent residences. At the ski village, professional and recreational skiers can take to the slopes, which have courses of varied degrees of difficulty intersurped among the mountain peaks that soar up to 2,600 meters above sea level. At night, the village becomes a hub for fine dining, outdoor entertainment, and stargazing. The opulent residences in Trojina, which blend quite well with the natural surroundings, are iconic homes that are tailored to the owner's needs. These mansions, built by the top architects in the world, are positioned on sites with views of the lake and the surrounding mountains. More than 3,600 hotel rooms and 2,200 houses will be present in the development as a whole. The place known as the Vault in Trojina is a folded vertical village that bridges the real and virtual worlds. It acts as a key entry point into Trojina, as well as the development's brain. Realistic and fantastical experiences should be available in the Vault. 
The location would have its microclimate, abundant vegetation, and innovative architecture. The goal of Neom, according to its architects, is to preserve the land for nature by focusing on vertical construction and reducing the land taken. As a result, the vault will be unique and will protect the land without expanding greatly. The observatory is situated towards the south of the vault, which will offer the best views of the distinctive surroundings. The observatory will have eateries so that guests can savor the breathtaking views as they dine in style. On top of the mountain in Trojina is a huge artificial lake. It has a sizable public area and gorgeous spots at the water's edge that are perfect for families to enjoy water sports. The lake will serve as the focal point of the highland area and offer inhabitants and visitors alike unmatched views. A secret realm known as the Bow lies submerged beneath the lake. Events, conferences, sports, concerts, art galleries, weddings, parties, and much more can be held in its spacious, versatile rooms. Also, it will have a five-star hotel and upscale condominiums, all of which will be located in the atrium of this water-embedded building. Trojina will also offer a tranquil, isolated natural habitat teeming with a variety of species. A lot of luxury accommodations will be located near the wildlife reserve and won't be another animal sanctuary like this one. Here, high-end technology will be used to connect the environment and add augmented reality elements. Trojina also has a planned set of programs and activities for visitors to experience throughout different times of the year. The wellness season, which will include summits, yoga retreats, alternative medicine events, and artist residences, will run from September to November. The winter season, which lasts from December to March, is ideal for a variety of snow-based sports. Adventure season, which lasts from March to May, draw those who enjoy outdoor pursuits, including high-altitude training, mountain biking, climbing, and paragliding. The summer months will become lake season, and the area will hold food festivals, light shows, art fairs, and other cultural activities. Environmentally friendly energy-powered cars will operate on roadways to transport people to destinations quickly and connect Trojina to other regions and cities in the Neom. Air landing strips and Jerome ports will be developed to make it easy to get to the primary airport, which will be built in Neom. Drones are expected to deliver luggage and security requirements will be fulfilled through cutting-edge biometrics. According to the architects, it would be the most up-to-date advanced system of passenger transportation. Visitors will be able to ski on the chilly mountain slopes of Trojina and scuba dive in the Red Sea on the same day because of this proposed seamless connectivity between various NEOM locations. Trojina will also reportedly employ sustainable materials in its construction and run totally on renewable energy resources. Emphasis will be placed on heating and cooling systems, insulation, in addition to performance-based building energy energy rules that address operational and embodied carbon, as well as actions that improve building resilience. One of the energy's grid main components is a hydroelectric system integrated into the lake system, which will also be used as energy storage to help offset the energy needed for the development. When it was revealed that the 2029 Winter Games would be hosted in Trojina, many athletes and climate activists voiced their worries about the impact of this plan on climate change. They made it clear that Trojina is utterly unreal and that creating it would have significant repercussions. Despite the Crown Prince's assertion that it would have the necessary infrastructure, how would Trojina accomplish the winter mood? The country is naturally deficient in precipitation and has no ski resorts or slopes as of now. And to create the winter climate necessary to host the Asian Winter Games, Saudi Arabia will ideally need to burn enormous amounts of fossil fuels. Activists have claimed that something is not necessarily sustainable or environmentally friendly just because it is powered by renewables. It will take a lot of energy, not just in the short term, to fill the artificial lake with desalinated water. It will also require constant water feeding, which will result in it requiring enormous quantities of energy over time. And considering where all the water that is required to fill the lake will come from makes this impossible given the region's obvious water shortage. The next six years hold a lot of potentials and seeing the Asian Winter Games in this location would undoubtedly be beyond intriguing. What do you think about Trojina? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you've yet to do so. We'll see you in the next video.